Ada. For not willing my house to my girlfriend after she put her house up for sale and is moving in with me, I, am 53, was married for 20 years, and my wife passed away 4 years ago. We had no children. So many years ago, we both did our wills. In our wills, we gave each other everything. And if we both died, then everything would go to my wife's nieces and nephews. I have no living relatives. One of the reasons I did this was because my wife's parents had some money, and my wife inherited several million dollars from them. One of the things we did with her inheritance was we bought our dream house. It's a big house, about 4,500 square feet, and has a 1,500 square foot garage out in the country. About a year ago, I met Samantha, F55. She has her own house, but she would always come over to my house and spend the night. We got to talking, and I said she could move in with me. Samantha has a daughter who is 25 and asked if she could move in, too. My basement is pretty big, with a small kitchen and a few extra bedrooms, etc. So I didn't mind. Samantha is in the process of selling her house, and she asked me if I would put in my will that she would get my house if I died. I told her, no, that was for my in-law's money, and that should go all to my nieces and nephews as it says in my will. Samantha argues that if I die and she has no house, she will have no place to live. I told her, yeah, you get the money from the sale of your house, plus you won't have a mortgage payment. So take that money and put it in a money market account. I was pretty put off by this conversation because, from my point of view, Samantha would have zero expenses, and she could put all her money into savings minus whatever she wanted to buy herself. Not like she doesn't have a job. We got heated over this conversation, and Samantha said that I was trying to control her with money. When she said that, I told her that maybe this relationship wasn't such a good idea. So, Ada here?